There have been numerous bills introduced this legislative session which attempt to change the state's educational direction. While many have failed to be advanced, two in particular have been passed by their full chamber of origin and thus are one step closer to being signed by Governor Stitt. Here is Justin Allen Rose's legislative report. The first of those bills was introduced by Representative Jacob Rosecrans. This bill, titled the Right to Recess Act, would make recess mandatory for grades K through 5. Now, the length of that recess would be determined by each individual school district. Rosecrans, a former teacher, says he wanted to introduce this sort of bill due to the first-hand experiences he had in the classroom and because studies show the positive outcomes of more recess time for children. Recess shouldn't be extra. Recess should be just as important as your core classes because should you have that, those breaks, those, those adequate breaks, it's been proven. Data over decades has been proven that it leads to better mental health outcomes for kids, better physical health uh, outcomes for kids, and test scores are going to go up. One Southwest Oklahoma school district has already implemented this sort of plan but goes further. Chattanooga Public Schools has a mandatory one hour per day of recess for grades K through 6. Superintendent for Chattanooga Public Schools, Jerry Brown, says they've seen great success in the eight years they've had this program implemented, and some of the problems Representative Rosecrans alluded to have so far diminished for the district. The quality time that you're getting uh, is better than, than what you get when you're just asking kids to sit in a classroom for two or three hours uh, without a break. Uh, we adults can't do that without our mind going every which way. So uh, we just feel like with that break, getting out, getting refreshed, coming back, they're more ready to learn. And research backs that up. Representative Rosecrans says while his bill is a start, he hopes that one hour per day minimum would be implemented eventually by state lawmakers. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to do something like that. I'm working with uh, the Link Project folks, which is, is who's kind of come into uh, Chattanooga Public Schools, to try to expand that program here in, here in Oklahoma as well. Another bill aiming to affect public school curriculum was introduced by Democrat State Representative Jason Lowe. This bill, HB 3727, would make learning how to read and write in cursive mandatory for grades 3rd through 5th. Superintendent Brown says Chattanooga Public Schools also implements this already and says he believes it's to the benefit of the students in more ways than one. In just a little research I've done on it, uh, they talk about kids that, that do cursive, whether they're taking notes or whatever, that they tend to retain better. Uh, it's it's uh, supposed to help with fine motor skills, so I think there's a lot of positives to it. Now, both of these bills will make their way over to the Senate, where they must be passed by a senatorial committee in the full Senate chamber before it could be signed by the governor. For 7 News, I'm Justin Allen Rose.